consiste. As art director, what, what was actually your role inside the production of the movie? Uh, so, uh, as our director, I work uh, uh, almost with uh, the production designer, Pablo Meyer, and uh, we had three directors. So, we work very close um, as core team, I would say, uh, to establish the visual look of the film. Uh, the production, in, uh, the duration of, of the entire production was around between four and five years, so it was pretty long. And uh, um, my job was uh, um, make the supervision of the art department, so uh, about concept art, uh, um, color keys, uh, you know, color script. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the first part with uh, the production designer, the directors, we, we tried to, um, to find the style of the film, so a sort of style guide we called. Okay. That is a sort of uh, Bible for the entire production film as rules mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and and uh, we give feedbacks actually f with to to all the departments into the film uh, so except i would say storyboard all the others in terms of uh, modeling department uh, uh, surface surfacing department texturing lighting matte paintings you know all, all the visual. It's such a big work uh, it, under. It was. <laughs> under the, the was. feel. <laughs> kind of yeah. feel. We usually we, we had a lot of meetings with uh, all the departments to um, give feedbacks and notes uh, and uh, check all the visual aspects. So um, every single little things, props that you see in the film, uh, uh, there was several checks before to say, okay, wow. this is the final one. <laughs> so, this, yeah. this is amazing, yeah. Uh, it, it is, but it was a pretty long process also. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm sure it is. <laughs> you know, we was uh, like a uh, happy end, tired sometimes. <laughs> but all went <laughs> well, yeah. so. Nel film, qual è stata la parte più complessa da realizzare, secondo te? Which was in the movie the most complex part to realize, mm. according to you, of course. Mm. I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, I would say probably, um, I would say Zephyr Highs, the Pegasus City, uh -huh. uh, because uh, um, usually when uh, you, we, we work with the Maya, so mm -hmm. in the modeling you have oh, geometric yeah, shapes right. uh, or something like that. So it's, uh, if you have, for example, an old village, mm -hmm. as shapes sometimes is easier with, by the text stream, by lighting, give a sort of uh, nice, cute feelings. Okay. But when you have a very geometric shapes, uh, it's a little bit more hard to, uh, to realize something that will have a, a very cute, beautiful appealing for okay. the audience. So uh, that probably was, for me at least, uh, very challenging in, in terms of uh, um, try to find some great uh, colors for the lighting or great mood uh, or find nice shapes language for the clouds, you know. So all together, this element uh, uh, give a touch of magic also with something, because um, that city was based, we, we based that style on the Art Deco wow. style. Okay. So even the Art Deco in, himself was, was pretty um, essential and geometric with yeah. gold. So, and, I, so I think you have to deal with the study of architecture yeah, and exactly. history of art, of course. Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow. So, for example, in, in Brightwood, for example, you know, with the tavern or some other um, little village, you know, was in, in a way was easier because that, the, the style of, of, of um, you, know, you already have the concept the yeah. and before before the film, you yeah. know, yeah, um, oh, definitely, like definitely. With episodes and cartoons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is so much easier. I colori e l'atmosfera del film sono spettacolari. Parliamoci chiaro. Cosa puoi dirci a proposito della parte dell'illuminazione e sui colori, appunto? Cioè, come avete strutturato la palette di colori del film? All the colors in the movies are actually astonishing, marvelous. And uh, we wanted to know, uh, according uh, for this and for the illuminations and all that stuff, how you actually did it, how you uh, create all those effects and uh, how you managed to put all them together. So, uh, 
usually we start with the concept. Uh, so the concept, they are uh, sort of more, more or less roughly paintings that give the feelings of, of the set of what we, we want to develop for, for the film. Sometimes uh, we keep the mood of the concept, some other times no, so it depends. However, what we try to use for the entire arc of the story is what we call color script. Uh, so we try to make a sort of, uh, um, to find uh, a sort of a selection of the palette uh, for, the, for the three words uh, okay. that was in the, the film. So uh, Maritime Bay, Bridewood, and Zephyr Highs. So try to select uh, a specific sort of palette for this word and, uh, um, and try to make a sort of maps uh, for the emotional beats uh, that we had into the arc of the story. Okay. So that was the goal for the colors. So we tried to, uh, above all for this specific film, uh, because every production, every film is different, but for this, um, there was a request from Hasbro uh, to keep the color a lot of up and very happy, okay, so you know, saturated. so not, yeah, not okay. too dark or something. Like that. So sometimes, uh, you know, uh, when you have maybe the most saddest point into the okay. film, uh, you cannot go anyway too dark even there. Mm -hmm. So you start from that point and you keep all the other colors a little bit more up. Oh, okay. So th that was uh, the... Can, can I actually say that it, w it was a marvelous job because uh, most of the times when uh, uh, productions for uh, cartoons and that kind of stuff goes uh, to, uh, to uh, sorry it goes towards um, sa uh, much saturated colors, yeah. they end up being too much saturated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's absolutely true, uh, and for this also, uh, of course, we have to thank also all the other departments because uh, at the end, even lighting is a sort of com combine of uh, um, the surfacing, texturing that we have and lighting department that made a fantastic job. And even uh, when you are in full production, uh, um, we spend a lot of time uh, uh, back and forth, back and forth with, uh, for example, lighting department. Okay. They send to us uh, maybe um, the first uh, rendering uh, of, the, of the sequence and we take the frames into the mm -hmm. art department and we paint on top of the frames uh, to say, okay, please uh, make this more like this, uh, change this shadow a little bit more purple, not so black, you know. So uh, this was very uh, important because uh, instead just writing a notes, uh, you know, uh, they can see visually what yeah, our intent. So it uh, was very, very important. Yeah, it's the, for, proper, cor the proper correction yeah, and yeah, the proper exactly. feedback, and, so you uh, have to do... Yes, this, exactly. and you have so, so much uh, mm, less. Yeah, um, yeah. Less, so so uh, we, we spend a lot of time, I would say, to make this sort of paint overs uh, for quite uh, most of the departments uh, to say uh, full, full these feedbacks and visually uh, was uh, easier, I would say. So, um, and, and the result was, uh, you know, I would say, it's, uh, you know, again, uh, the lighting department made an excellent job, so we was very, very happy at the end. Uh, it was stunning. Yeah, so. pretty stunning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, qual è stata la parte più divertente del film? Mm. <laughs> Which was the funniest part of the movie? Mm. Okay, uh, my, I don't know you guys, but my favorite character is Easy. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have the... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... You know, like wh when I saw the song the first time and uh, the choreography, even in the storyboard, I said, okay, my gosh. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I, mm, you know, so mm. definitely that part, uh, you know, um, uh, I remember even the artist, you know, we was uh, listen the the song even when we made this, the final concept or something like that, to you know, enter in the mood of <laughs> easy. <laughs> so, that, no, that was a very f funny part, you know, I would say the... Uh, her song definitely is my favorite part of the movie by myself because it was very something, you know, really. So, um, yeah, I will say that. <laughs> okay. Cosa puoi dirci del design dei personaggi? Come li avete creati? Come avete deciso di farli? Come è che sono usciti così? Okay. What can you say about uh, the characters 
characters design. I'm so sorry for the English. Uh, character. <laughs> This, this, this word is kind of hard. Characters, designs of the characters. Ah. Yeah, um, okay. Um, the, the characters uh, was, um, was been already established when I arrived because I arrived uh, after some years that the production oh, okay. was started. Uh, but nothing of, uh, was completely finalized. Oh. So um, in the art department was uh, uh, Leah that uh, was part of the art and character design in uh, our department. And uh, um, so she and uh, Francesco was another uh, character design. They worked together to finalize uh, uh, the characters. Mm -hmm. um, so the, um, what I can say is uh, I was very happy because the, um, for the G5 especially, uh, the characters was very cute. Uh, so that was lovely, uh, you know, yeah, even definitely. us really <laughs> love it and, uh, you know, that, that is very important because characters and backgrounds and, uh, you know, the set, they have to work together, you know, to uh -huh. give the, so the... They have to match each other. Yeah, they are the bits of the film, so at the end, uh, so um, uh, we spend a lot of time also uh, to find the proper... Um, shaders, uh, texturing, and even in the eyes of the characters are quite big. Uh, so we spend a lot of time to try to give a sort of vitreo quality, okay. you know, like other top quality film in animation, uh, point of lights inside uh, the eyes to don't make it too, f too flat or too cheap, you know, yeah, okay. so to give a sort of believable because um, the, the look and the eyes of the characters uh, is what make the difference and yes, uh, because you, they're, they're very important. You make them alive. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> the yeah, eyes it, are the mirror of the, the soul. <laughs> yes, so, exactly, exactly. So that was, was very, very important. Uh, Sue uh, Bradle Woods, uh, cosa ci puoi dire come, come set? Insomma, come avete costruito okay. il set? Regarding Bridal Woods, um, Actually, how you uh, managed to create, how you, how you managed to uh, construct, really, the set? So, Bridewood was uh, probably the latest set that we, uh, we, we developed into the production, so it was pretty late, I would say. Um, which, also for that word, as the others, we tried to select a very, um, I would say, uh, very distinctive palette uh, for the for the colors. Uh, so we have a lot of purple, blue, uh, but the, the values are pretty. Dis everything is pretty desaturated because they are a little bit depressed. I would say. <laughs> so um, and uh, we spend a lot of time to find uh, the, the 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 correct shapes and the correct sides also for the big trees uh, in the village. Mm -hmm. uh, which type of um, tree? we wanted with a director, which type of barks for the tree. So there is a lot of uh, long process uh, for, uh, you know, all the vegetations, uh, and uh, we spend a lot of, uh, a lot of time for, for that. Also for uh, which type of crystals, uh, the details inside the crystals. So um, is this cabin, for example, was a pretty pre long one, uh, because uh, inside we have all these uh, art and craft that she create, uh, and oh, also, yeah. Is uh, this maybe one of the storyboards, I think? Uh, yeah, and these are probably more the lighting paint overs. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, this mat, more matte paintings, <laughs> uh, um, paint overs. So we spend a lot of time for some, from the first one to the end one to yes. give feedbacks uh, also for the art, uh, matte painting departments. Okay. Yeah. So we see uh, the first paint over and the second one, uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, with the notes, okay. Yeah, this for lighting, for example, if you see the shade uh, shadows, they are more purple here than top. Uh, oh my God, okay. So it, it's a, it was a, yeah, this sort of back and forth uh, and uh, for the, to have, the, to get the final approved uh, from the directors on uh, every single visual aspect. So um, yeah, this was Whoa. pretty long. Uh, we have, um, I don't know if this lighting or color, uh, this still Paint lighting. Over. Yeah, still lighting. lighting. Yeah, for example, this is uh, about the eyes. the eyes that we don't have there, yes. the vitreo quality. So that, that was um, pretty long because uh, we, we, 
I put all this was a concept. We, we have, um, I don't know, thousands of, <laughs> of <this> sketch. <laughs> I only <laughs> imagine. So, like, um, sort of <laughs> yeah, applied like this. Yeah, no, really. Uh, hai curato anche il feedback dei vari, dei vari dipartimenti e anche immagino delle persone che hanno visto il film. Um, come funziona la matte painting, visto che prima ne parlavamo? Mm. Okay. So you took uh, care of the feedbacks too uh, for the, the whole production. So could you tell us how matte painting works, mm. especially? So... Uh, Um, with, the, with the production designer and uh, the directors, we give um, to each department some uh, feedbacks. Uh, each department they have a, their own su um, supervisor. Uh, so sometimes we spoke with, only with the supervisor or we, also with the artist, give uh, notes uh, back, you know, like, uh, and uh, also with uh, this sort of paint overs to uh, explain what was. Uh, Uh, our direction and uh, say okay maybe here we want a little bit darker or we need uh, you know uh, maybe the clouds a little bit softer or the shadows with more colors you know so even in matte paintings uh, the matte paintings uh, there was uh, used a lot of in uh, Zephyr Heights for example okay. um, or part of the bright woods uh, in, the, the, in, in the back layers of course okay. So, um, you know, the, the, the most important aspect that we checked uh, was uh, uh, colors, values, uh, uh, that uh, also the, the, um, say the painting doesn't have to burn too much. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you have too much contrast, it's not good. At, um, when you see at the end in the theater, yeah, you know, you, so... Yeah, you have to see if this works together. Yeah, if they work together, but also if the contrast, they are too high. Oh, okay. Uh, they, or too um, low. It, yeah, it become, uh, maybe the shadow become too dark or the light part become too bright. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, so that is not good when you see everything in, into the theater. So we also, we went to the, sometimes in the theater to check uh, if everything was work, not mm -hmm. just on the screen of the PC, but yeah, even there. So the lighting is different. Real life, yeah. let's say. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it was pretty long. <laughs> But, okay. um, conoscevi il mondo di My Little Pony prima mm -hmm. di lavorare nel film? Questa dovevo chiedertela, mi dispiace. <laughs> Did you actually know uh, My Little Pony? Uh, in, in that case, I'm going to take a brief license. Uh, did you ever uh, know the, all that goes around yeah. the world of My Little Pony? Yeah. Because uh, after 10 years from before, <laughs> As you probably know, uh, uh, everything led to all this, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, I, I, of course, uh, when I was kids, uh, I watched My Little Pony, the G1. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> the 2D one. Yeah, yeah, of course, I'm uh, an nerd too, with the uh, cartoons, uh, and uh, of course, I, I love G1, uh, you know, everyone knows My Little Pony, I think, in the world. Um, of course, I, I didn't know uh, all the evolution between uh, the G1 until the G5, so um, uh, I, I must have to you know, like learn about this new world uh, and uh, find uh, you know, also graphic solution for the film, uh, read the new story, you know. So probably, I think, I suppose in future we'll have G6. <laughs> I don't know, Whoa, <laughs> maybe. That's a big deal. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> So, yeah. after all, it's been 10 years, maybe. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> maybe in another 10 years, who knows? Maybe yeah, five. I don't know. <laughs> for, for sure, there, there will, I think that there will, there, there, there will always be generations who will appreciate uh, My Little Pony. I mean... Yeah. It's around from the 80s, so... <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> That's true. I, I had, uh, I think, a uh, rarity, uh, My Little Pony uh, toy when I was younger. Yeah. When I was a little girl, I was <laughs> playing with this. <laughs> It was amazing. Yeah. They're cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, qual è il tuo pony preferito del film della G5? Mm, okay. Abbiamo già chiesto, ok? Perché Izzy, a questo punto, ti chiedo? Okay, uh, no, I, I, I love Izzy because... Uh, She is funny and uh, you know make me laughing. You know it's uh, 
you know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit crazy. And, but uh, also in the dramatic situation, you know, she's always uh, positive and, <laughs> yeah, good, positive. And that, that is something really that, uh, yeah, I'm really uh, fascinated about that. Yeah. Um, but also Sunny, of course, because, um, you know, uh, the, uh, if you saw the story of the film, I, mean, I really love the ending. You know, when, okay, yeah. when they try or they thought to find the solution. Yes. At the end, the solution was a little bit different, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when the crystal come out yes. from the earth and uh, so that they understood the real point of the friendship and everything, so the, the magic, it's back, it's come okay. back. So, you know, I think uh, they, they, they spend a lot of time to find also this about the story, that mm -hmm. part, because well, that in a few minutes, uh, in a few seconds, you have uh, all the core of the film. Uh, it's, uh, it, I would say, it, it's there in that uh, mm -hmm. moment, in that yeah. sh scene. So that part was very, very important and in I, I terms of story. I think this is a really important message. You yeah. Know, is, yeah. Um, apart from easy, which is always positive in tough situations. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. You have to just think about tiredness. Yeah. Oh, it's and not I, that's really hard, I think, <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> I'm actually quite sure that everyone needs a easy type of person in yeah. their life. <laughs> Definitely. <at some point. laughs> yeah. I want a little easy in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also we spend a lot of time uh, in, uh, for example, at the end when uh, uh, Sunny becoming an alicorn, okay. we spend a lot of time to find uh, uh, visually, you know, which type of wings, uh, or which type of transparent wings uh, we, we wanted. And uh, so we have a lot of um, uh, visual concept uh, also for, the, um, for that part of the higher transformation. And uh, uh, yeah, when they, the crystal, you know, they, they take her on, uh, on higher. So the, even that part with all that special effects was a little bit more complex. So we spent a lot of time uh, with the artist to, to, to find the right... Uh, uh, the right feeling. Yeah. yeah, the right feelings, exactly. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, siccome lavori con oli acrilici, che è una cosa che io personalmente adoro, mm. ma non posso fare, <laughs> eh, ci puoi parlare un po' del, del processo? Come, mm. come funziona? Ecco, perché noi siamo abituati a vedere gli storyboard o comunque anche delle clip di film, behind the scenes, eh, magari disegnati con la tavoletta grafica mm. e poi stampati. Mm. Tu invece sei ancora un po' vecchia a scuola. Ed è una cosa, ripeto, bellissima. Mm. Bye. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Since you work a lot with uh, oil and uh, acrylic, paints. acrylic paintings, um, can you actually uh, put us through uh, how does it work, how does it affect even your work? I'm, I'm adding mm. this one, I know, but I'm actually sincerely curious. <laughs> because we actually, most of the times when we see storyboards, when we see um, that kind of uh, preparation, we see it mostly through digital painting, uh, and uh, yeah, we, we, would, we would like to know well, more, actually. Yeah, so actually, <laughs> no, I would say, just to answer to you, there are all digital paintings. Okay. Yeah, they're all digital. Uh, I mean, we, we can use, uh, I, I mean, every artist, more or less, that work in uh, animation industry have to know uh, drawing 2D or, uh, the, the, I would say the base of the, of the paintings, of course. But, uh, now everything is uh, digital. Um, okay. So I would say from, I would say storyboard uh, and uh, because even for the process and uh, to give back the files is much, much faster yeah. into the uh, workflow of the, of the production. So um, yeah, the, so everything was made uh, in uh, painters, photoshops, you know, like okay. everything was. So it's fake generated. acrylic oil, I think. Yeah, it's uh, actually we ha we have to give the feelings that it's paint by hand. Okay. And it's not too digital, so that is the most difficult part for us, um, because uh, um, if when you paint and something is too um, a painting is too digital. You, you feel that it's a little bit ch uh, cheaper, maybe? Yeah, pl or, like plastic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so okay. of course you, you need to uh, spend a lot of time to, yeah, for that. Yeah, okay, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed. And uh, if you mind, uh, we would uh, like to have some questions from the yeah, public, sure, so I get up. <laughs> 
and go around. Indeed. <laughs> so. Would you like to ask some question? No questions? Really? <laughs> you. Not one I like you. <laughs> I'm coming. Um, yeah, you went into the coloring earlier and that it had to be bright, but uh, if you compare the season four with the movie, um, even the backgrounds are much brighter. Was that a decision of your own in some ways, or was that more or less coming from Hasbro like that? So the difference between the foreground and the background in, in contrast. You mean in G5 movie? Well, um, usually uh, the, all the, the characters, uh, they have always to be a little bit brighter to stand up from, from the background. So we want the, the values of the background uh, some, sometimes a little bit more darker um, because uh, that, that, that it's just a stage background. So you don't want that, that the set to become protagonist except if it's in a hero shot or uh, you know, something like that. So it's a little bit different. Um, so we, we spend a lot of time also for uh, to balance the values, you know, even in the matte paintings sometimes uh, when uh, Zip arrive on the rocks and see Sunny Easy, for example, the rocks there, there was a little bit, they have a lot of contrast at the beginning, so we try to balance uh, everything there, uh, so that was. <laughs> Any questions? Oh yeah, you. <laughs> Another one, and then there's... Uh, can you talk more about uh, the Art Deco style of the Pegasus City, or the, what's the Zephyr Heights? Uh, and like, how did you arrive to that? Uh, what other styles were considered, uh, and so on? Okay. Yeah, uh, so for, for all the entire city we use, uh, the, I mean, the, the decision uh, was the Art Deco because I was already established that. So um, we tried to, um, take a lot of Art Deco uh, reference pictures. Uh, and uh, one of the most uh, difficult part, you know, from, from, from that style was uh, the type of gold that we use for some uh, decorations. Um, because uh, uh, even after with the rendering, maybe some gold was too shining uh, or not enough uh, uh, bright out outside in the building. So, we, we made a lot of tests, uh, you know, also with, uh, with the rendering to see which type of gold we want for some elements or for others. Uh, so that was very important uh, for, for the, um, the style of the city. And uh, uh, I remember, uh, I remember it was Leah that made um, a sort of lineup all, of all the buildings. Uh, uh, so that was very important to uh, establish, uh, you know, like um, uh, which type of buildings was on or off into, into the film. So it was a pretty long process. You know, Zephyr Heights probably was uh, one of the most complex set in, in the film, I would say. I have a question. Um, how do you do this stunning, easy hair? I'm curious. I'm <laughs> sincerely curious. Uh, okay, so the, um, all the design of the characters um, comes from, from, you know, like, we, 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 even for the queen, for example, we made a lot of uh, different options, uh, you know, for hair or style. Uh, and uh, so um, with the, the production designer, the director, we had the feedbacks. Uh, also, for, we, I would say also the animation is involved with the characters to say, okay, these are maybe too complex, or this is possible, you know, so also there is a technical um, thing that maybe it's too difficult or it's possible. So uh, when, when the design is approved, uh, you know, in the, in the art department, they follow up in all the other um, departments, so from modeling until the uh, grooming for uh, hair and all the other um, department stage. We'll okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> right. You're saying that the film went through lots of changes um, during the making of it. Um, was there anything taken out of the film you wish had stayed in the film? Like a character or a storyline or something? Do you mean that I, I, I wanted to be in and I, I was out? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> it's a hard question because uh, 
Uh, I saw so much beautiful artworks that was already done, maybe uh, even uh, um, previous, I would say sort of previous color script or mood that after was not inside the movie anymore because the story was changed. Uh, our work, it's pretty hard because sometimes you say, oh my gosh, these beautiful artworks, <laughs> why is that? <laughs> but uh, uh, we have to support the story that is the main uh, focus in our job. So I will say this, I'm very happy because the story is super strong uh, and uh, it's, it's light uh, but strong in the same way. So, um, you know, like, um, yeah. Sometimes uh, I remember for, you know, some part of the film we was pretty close at the end of the production. So we, you know, very close to the maybe deadline for something. So you have, uh, I don't know, one day just <laughs> change everything. So it was, was not easy. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a question, which is not, not written, I'm a <laughs> blank page. And this one doesn't come from me as, uh, as a chairman. It comes from me as uh, someone who actually watched and loved, not enjoyed, I loved the movie. We talked about, about Bridalwood, we talked about Zephyr Heights, but what was the main inspiration for the, the seat, for Merten Bay, for the city of Sunny? Because I had some ideas. I want to actually, now that I can, I want to actually know if I, uh, if I followed the line in the proper way. Yeah, um, actually, Maritime Bay, um, you know, about the three set, uh, Maritime Bay was the most uh, advanced part when I arrived. So, um, the, of course, uh, there, there was not the lighting part already done uh, for the final productions, but in terms of concept, it was pretty established, I would say. So, um, I worked there more like, uh, um, you know, for, for one of the most complex things is when uh, in your final shot for the film, uh, the really final one, you have to combine all the elements and they have to work together. I would say that probably is the most challenge part into the production, so when you have the matte painting part of, of the city, um, probably maritime it's more, you know, because you have this sort of uh, uh, bay area, it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 in, in terms of colors, we, we took a lot of inspiration even from, I would say, California. Okay. You know, some oh. of, yeah. <laughs> of, of that. Uh, because they, um, I live there, and uh, in California, you have a very crispy colors for yeah. some time. So when you, so when you have the sea, it's a little bit different than, than here in Italy. So um, even the shadow or uh, lighting, it's, it's much more pure color sometimes. So, oh, really? Yeah. It's, wow. uh, you want, uh, then, you know, we try to transfer that sort of uh, emotional into, into the city, you know, everything is uh, nice and cute, you know, okay. until when easy comes. <laughs> 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 Boom! <laughs> but it was pretty, yeah. yeah. Oh, why? Wow. Uh, it's, it's really amazing because uh, you, you actually, when you see the scene, you, you saw the brightest color and I had never thought think of uh, California, <laughs> actually. Yeah, do, do you know, like, uh, um, sometimes, uh, do you know, like, uh, for example, in, um, in the color script, uh, or even better, in the paint overs of the lighting frames for the film, uh, we spend a lot of time to make all the shadows of the film uh, com use complementary colors uh, with warm and cold, uh, for example, that it's a sort of normal process in uh, feature animation. Okay. And, uh, but uh, as I said before, you know, uh, there is the, the final result of, the, of your shot have to be perfect. So we spend a lot of time uh, to make all the elements in balance, uh, you know, between uh, the, the matte paintings that you have on the back with the CGI, okay, lighting, yeah. everything. So that was wow. the most complex part of uh, I think. <laughs> I think they too. <laughs> So, um, any other questions? I Not don't want see ones. anyone. <laughs> last question one, last question two, last offer. 
Last question. Three. Done. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Fail. <laughs> So uh, we thank you so much yeah, for coming you. and uh, uh, speak with, with us. It's, it's a pleasure and honor. Yeah, it was a pleasure for me too. <laughs> thank, you. So thank you. And thank you guys for uh, being here and see you uh, this. He has a question. I'm coming. He's coming. <laughs> what kind of machines PC you use for this kind of rendering? The specifics of the mm. graphic cards, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I am pretty interested. Okay, um, usually um, for, uh, we use a lot of different software because, uh, um, for example, in, in the art department we use only Photoshop, for example. In uh, lighting department they use uh, probably I would say in modeling, they use Maya, for example, um, or in compositing, they use Nuke. So there is every, every department, they have a very specific software they, they, they use. So it's not just uh, um, one unique um, uh, machine or software that for all the entire film. Uh, um, you know, like, um, we, we, for example, for this film, we use a lot of, uh, we spend a lot of time for the um, for the color gradient. Uh, for example, I think they use Da Vinci and Nuke oh, probably. Oh, I love Da Vinci. So, the, you know, very powerful software for 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 that part. So, you know, the, I, I, even me, you know, I don't know all the software they use it because, uh, you know, I'm not the supervisor of only one depart unique department. Um, but uh, we, we give only the feedbacks for the artistic direction to the supervisor of each department. So, uh, you know, it's... The hardware, more the software. Uh, yeah, probably. The you know, we, we um, usually in this type of films, for example, also we had uh, um, an IT department that they develop it was also internal software for the film or you know plugin so it's it's a big machine <laughs> yeah it is so um okay this is the official countdown for questions so question one question two question three nothing all right so Rui, thank you <laughs> again <You're welcome. laughs> uh, for having us and for talk to us and guys, see you this evening, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.